SciJet Complete Tutorial for Beginners Step by Step Guide Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we use SciJet to build our own professional website. It's pretty easy, just follow these steps I do to not make any mistakes. So SiteJet is a platform which provides us the opportunity to use the site builder and also like project management system. So it's pretty easy to use. Let's get started. In the right top corner we need to click on free 40 day trial so we can try it for free of course they have like on paid plans but we'll discover them a little bit later so here we need to create our account we can create it using an email or we can sign up with google or facebook so in this case i'm going to use one of my gmail accounts so it may take a little time and after that we'll come to this page where we can find some folders in the top of the screen we can find manager templates manage team and stats so on templates folder we can find a lot of templates for our website so i'm going to open it yeah it looks like this uh and manage team folder we can manage our team as you can see we have some options like add user billing settings white label email setups tired users automation and so on and on this task folder we can find some statistics about our website like website clients website status and of course like recurring revenue it's pretty helpful but in order to get started and to create website all we need is just to open manager and then go to overview also in the left side there is like menu with overview tickets unsigned overview to do's overview websites and so on so all we need to do is just to click on plus website as you can see right up here and we'll come to like uh, our templates folder to choose firstly we need to choose the name let it be helperman the name of our channel let's click on add and after that we'll come to our template page as you can see uh, there are a lot of different templates we can use for our website and we can also divide them into different categories like trending, landing page, multi-pager, one-pager, blank, blog, business. There are a lot of categories we can easily use. So let's try to find uh, something which is suitable as for me. I think this one is pretty good so we can easily click on preview to find how does it looks like. We can easily switch between different devices right up here so I can just click how does it looks like on mobile yeah as for me it's pretty good so let's click on choose and in a few seconds we'll come to our editor page uh, basically as you can see now we are like went back to our page and now it looks like this it may take a little time uh, we need to set up our domain and basically we can easily deal with it in order to uh, edit the website we need to click on edit website right up here so we'll come to our like editor page and as you can see in the left side we have some options we can do we can add different elements we can just manage content columns boxes area where we can add different boxes accordion tables features images as some slider and so on so all the elements could be added from this page here also in the top of the screen there is like option to manage the design of the whole website uh, we can manage pages deal with navigator to do and publish our website so basically we can change every single uh, like font in the design area we can deal with text so we can change the color for example if we need uh, we can do some other stuff and basically uh, all the changes will be applied to all the website here also there is like option to uh, deal with color scheme so we can easily change the background color if we need so it looks like this let's change it back change the primary color here secondary color and font color of course so sometimes it could be helpful if we need to customize the whole website we're going to use also we can deal with buttons so we can change every single button of our website change the color text border spacing shadow transform transition and so on also we can change the layout and manage our store as you can see deal with products product headline product title product price and so on 
on the pages area we can deal with our menu here we can change the order of our pages here we can make it like the sub pages and so on so basically we can add new page right up here just simply click on a new page we can change the name change the url seo title seo description do some seo stuff basically and now everything is done so now we can deal with it like is this thing with like uh, just a normal uh you know page here so we can delete it and at the same day we can deal with every single so we can just copy we can manage settings we can delete and there are a lot of options we can do in navigator area we can find all the elements like structure on our website so we can just hover and then it will be like selected on the editing area here so it's pretty cool as for me and uh, every single part here is customizable so we can just simply click on anything we want to change for example for this text here and we can input uh, like uh, something which is like necessary as for me so let's input our like our channel name and now it looks like this so we can simply customize every single part we can click on more change style add content move to somewhere send duplicate copy cut and so on so as you can see there are a lot of uh, stuff here so let's try to add some elements i'm going to add some uh, image here so I'm just going to drag and drop and as you can see the image block was successfully added. So now we can just simply click on it right up here and choose some image we'd like to add. For example, this number right up here. And now as you can see it looks like this. We can easily crop the image. We can do some other stuff. We can rotate. Basically nothing hard. And now our image looks like this. Uh, basically when everything is done we can just simply click on publish in the right top corner and our website will be uh, successfully published but we need to purchase their like paid plans and as you can see they have like three paid plans like solo team and agency so we can easily start our career for free and after that we can decide what is suitable as for us um, what plan is suitable as for us like solo plan team agency uh, the prices are, yeah, you have some differences like 15, 29 and 49 dollars. And also we can find the differences right up here. For example, the best one is like the best seller as for the, according to statistics, is team version. Where is available like website export, multi-user and permission, white label tools uh, and all the features from solo plan so you can easily decide what is suitable as for you So basically this is a way of how can we use SiteJet website builder to build our own website Hope this video helped you out if it is please leave a like comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye